Hey guys, Netlink Daily. This is the show. Daily tech news coming at you. I'm so lonely. Let's get the tech news rolling all by myself in here. Netlink Daily, your source for the news. Time, let's get, time for the intro. Smart homes may still seem like a futuristic concept, but it's easier than ever to add smart devices from TP-Link to your humble abode, like the AV1200 Powerline AC Wi-Fi kit to boost Wi-Fi signal in the dead zones of your house, or the Wi-Fi Smart Plug, which lets you remotely turn devices on and off and monitor power consumption with the TP-Link CASA app. The smart Wi-Fi LED bulb can display thousands of colors and even schedule color temperature changes to match your circadian rhythms, and the HD Pan Tilt Wi-Fi camera lets you keep an eye on your home from the app with night vision. See how the McNeil family upgraded to a smart home by clicking the link in the corner or the description. Intel's 8th gen Coffee Lake desktop processors are on the way, but we've gotten a peek at their performance from YouTuber Carl Moren. He's Quebecois. That's, that's why I said his name like that. At DreamHack in Montreal, Carl found a demo system running the unreleased Core i7-8700K CPU, and the sneaky devil managed to run Cinebench, CPU-Z, and Geekbench on the machine. Guru3D added the results to their CPU bench numbers, and the 8700K slotted in between the Ryzen 1600 and 1600X in multi-threaded performance, and did better than everything except the i7-7740X in single thread. Hmm. I feel like maybe it should have beaten the 7740X, but this is a very informal demonstration, so hopefully we see some more legit numbers soon. Apple is holding their iPhone reveal event tomorrow, but today a ton of info leaked about what they may or may not show off. A pirated version of iOS 11 was the source of the leaked details, which include these nuggets. There are three new iPhones coming, the iPhone 8, 8 Plus and the iPhone X with a taller and narrower design, OLED screen, 6-core A11 processor, and price tag higher than $1,000. Face ID is a new facial recognition feature that you can use to pay for things and animate 3D emojis called Animojis. The next Apple Watch will have LTE, the next Apple TV will support 4K, but perhaps most shocking, the new iPhones may feature wireless charging and USB Type-C instead of lightning connectors good gravy, and also central pack. Obviously take these details with a grain of salt and then sprinkle it on your snack of choice when Apple officially tells all tomorrow. Xiaomi, meanwhile, wanted to steal some of Apple's buzz, so they took the lid off three new devices of their own today. The Mi Mix 2 has a giant 6-inch 18x9 display with almost no bezels and generally super high-end internal specs. The Mi Note 3 is essentially a Mi 6 with a bigger display, and that's according to Xiaomi themselves. And the Mi Notebook Pro is a MacBook Pro competitor with an 8th gen Intel CPU, Nvidia GeForce MX150 GPU, and a lot more port options than its lookalike. These devices probably aren't coming to Canada, but they will be available in the US from certain sources, so just nice to know about them. It is time for quick bits, my dudes. Good Guy Google is offering free repairs to Pixel owners who have suffered damage from Hurricane Harvey, no matter how bad the damage is. If your phone was damaged from a previous hurricane, sorry, it's not, it's only certain hurricanes are valid here. Good Guy Tesla unlocked the batteries of the 60 kilowatt hour versions of their vehicles, allowing drivers to use the full 75 kilowatt hours to escape Hurricane Irma. But that has led some users to ask, wait a minute, so Tesla is purposely limiting these cars in order to sell upgrades that could be applied with a simple software update? And we knew that already, but this just reminded us? I think I'm angry? China is so over gas and diesel cars, and we'll be discussing banning their production and sale. After all they've done for us, though? It's kind of rude. Modders have released a version of Super Mario 64 that allows multiplayer using a number of Super Mario characters. So that's... It's probably way more fun than just playing a regular multiplayer game. I'm sorry, I'm not a nostalgia. Nostalgist. And Microsoft's game mode for Windows 10 is supposed to improve performance, but turns out it caused screen tearing and stuttering for some users, so Microsoft says they'll fix that with the Fall Creators update. So, that seems pretty routine actually, not super exciting news there. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description. Yes, Matthew, Tuesdays are out now because we're not doing that linked on Tuesdays anymore, but since you asked so nicely, happy birthday, good sir. 
May your days be filled with honeysuckle and honeydew and other things to do with honey. Thanks for the NCIX Yo Dog. The rest of you tweet a hashtag NCIX Yo Dog at us if you feel like doing that. That's the hashtag thing. I'm sorry. And guess what? There's no call out today because it's super late and I didn't have time to write one. So that's the way the cookie crumbles. And that's also it for this episode of Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos. Check us out on Twitter over there. But as always, like the video if you liked it. Comment below for fans with benefits and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Jack should be back tomorrow and then he should be doing Netlink on Wednesday, but we'll see. He was sick today. Uh, so hopefully he feels better. Tweet at him. Tell him, tell him to feel better already. <sighs>